on the note of the workspace reset options, have you have you really checked those out at all? Yeah, yeah. No, I've looked at those. Um, I've reset my workspace a total of yeah three times. It's worked perfectly every time. It's a great feature, and mm -hmm. I think it really will come in handy for a lot of people. But I am one of those people personally who who when I need to, I, I'll just clear the deck and say, start yeah. again. And just rearrange everything because I, yeah. I'm a messy person. So I'll just, I never get things perfect. So I'll just clear the deck and start again rather mm -hmm. than trying to keep everything the way it was. Yeah, sometimes so that's just easier. That yeah. Um, so just to show what we're talking about, if something goes wrong with Painter, let's say it won't load, or if something you imported doesn't work, or if, you are, if you're wanting to import your Corel Painter 2015 workspace into 2016, there's a lot of reasons why you may need to reset your workspace. To do that, you want to close Painter, and then you want to hold Shift and click on the icon for Painter. And in older versions of Painter, you would get basically a couple options. One is to restore everything for all workspaces or, or to restore everything for the current workspace. So that meant that any brushes or anything you had saved was going to basically get thrown away. Now you have some options. You can keep some customizations, like all brushes or all of their libraries or custom palettes, or just keep everything. And then you can reset just that one workspace or your current workspace or any workspace, really. So what that's going to do is that's going to just reset all the behind the scenes stuff in Painter get it working more smoothly, clear out any bugs, but it'll still keep all your brushes. This is something you can try if you're trying to import your Corel Painter 2015 workspace. If you're getting an error message upon loading it, just go ahead and close Painter, restart it, and use this feature here to reset your workspace, but make sure to keep your brushes. And that should do a pretty good job of making your 2015 workspace more compatible in 2016. If that doesn't work, you can do like Lawrence said, and you can just you know, basically go through and just rebuild it from scratch, export all your brushes and then re-import them and so on and just rebuild it. And well, that's what you had to do in the old days. Um, yeah. I've tested this out a few times and it works perfectly. It's, yeah. it's especially nice if you've built up a library of lots of different brushes, especially if you've been creating and saving variations Imagine all those Photoshop ABR brushes that you've created and changed all the settings for. If you go ahead and bring in the ABRs again, you've lost all your settings. Yep. So this this is going to come in really, really handy. Yeah. You know, they, unless you've exported all your brushes out. Yeah. So this this is going to come in really, really handy for everyone. Yeah. Um, unless you back up a lot. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I have versions and versions of everything. So the, what I've noticed is each time Painter comes out, I generally have to rebuild my workspace because if you import an old workspace, you may be importing some of the bugs that come with it. So yeah. generally speaking, it's recommended that you, every time a new version of Painter comes out, you go ahead and just rebuild it from scratch. Yeah. I know that, I know that sounds like a pain, but I've probably done it hundreds of times. So it's, it's not that bad. And it's good practice to know how to back up your files because like Lawrence said, if you put a whole lot of work into your workspace and you're relying on these brushes and they just poof disappear, you're going to be hurting. So export everything, back everything up. 